Doom 3. Now a well-known classic, was one of the best sellers of 2004, receiving favorable reception from critics and fans alike. Now after 14 years we take a look back at this historical Doom game to explore content we didn't get to see in the final product. Doom 3 had a long development schedule dating back to 2000, with a well-received gameplay demonstrations at E3. One of these demonstrations contained a never-before-seen gameplay demo showcasing the game's graphics and now completely removed cutscenes and gameplay level. Take a look. But now, science has opened the door to the unknown. Have your access codes been changed? Yeah, what's with all the Marines? Not sure. A lot of strange things been going on. Hey, watch it. Excuse me. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay, it's all set. I've done what you asked, but I'm worried that the stabilization field will be... That's not for you to worry about. As you can see from the demo, Mars City looks a lot more lively than the finished product. As well as if you take a closer look at the marines guarding the door, their outfit is slightly different as well. The never before seen gameplay level shows off some incredible game physics, especially for that time. Several Doom 3 monsters were cut in the design process and did not make it into the finished game. Various concept designs of these monsters were shown amongst the pre-release Doom 3 promo material. This handsome guy is named Cyber Orc. He's another unused monster for the game. An early zombified marine or security, possibly holding a flamethrower or a unused weapon. Cut model for an unknown demon, possibly a guardian or a pinky. Interesting enough, its models and textures are still located in the game files. A early design of a Hell Knight, which kind of looks like a gremlin. Another interesting cut was the character named General Hayden. This uh, General Hayden is not connected to the Dr. Samuel Hayden of Doom 2016. Some particular differences include the fact that General Hayden is human in the novels in 2145, where Samuel Hayden was a cyborg by six months after Arjun Tower was completed in 2127. The only way really for them to possibly coexist is if General Hayden was a descendant of Samuel Hayden. Considering the possibility that all mainline Doom games are in the same universe. Hayden had seen his share of battles, or as the United States government liked to call it, the never-ending little wars that plague the planet Earth. He was a man in uniform, his medals and colorful bars spoke of his experience. General Hayden was slated to appear as a secondary antagonist in the game but it was cut from the game, making uh, Betruger the main antagonist.
If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to subscribe and check out our Cancel Doom 4 video next. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.